Hello, Jim here. I promised this video a year ago or so in one form or another. And I know three, almost four weeks ago, I promised it to a second form. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it done. One of the biggest requests for Matterport has been a backup solution. They have yet to provide a backup solution. We buy an iPad, it has limited amount of memory, and we do the tours in Matterport Capture, it gets filled up, and then what are you supposed to do? Some people delete the tours, losing all the data. I myself, every time I do a job, at the end of the day, I come home and back it up. I keep a detailed log on all the scans that are there in that particular folder. I can restore any clip at any time. I have restored the first scan I ever did with Matterport two and a half years ago successfully in the app and uploaded it, had it reprocessed. The reason I wanted it was all the scans I did, I wanted to reprocess to get the teaser videos offered by Matterport. Then you can go in and tweak them and make them the way you want them. And it's good for social media sharing and advertising for your company. Before I do any of this, I go to my iPad and I make sure that the Capture app is closed. Double click the home button, swipe the Capture app off the screen, and then you can go and do the backup because then the data isn't being at the operating system on the iPad. Okay, we're gonna get started here. We're going to use iTunes to back up Matterport Capture to your computer. You take your lightning cable, plug it into your iPad, open up the lock screen, plug the iPad into the USB port on the computer. When you do it, iTunes should automatically open up. You may get a trust this computer pop up on the iPad. You can go ahead and hit trust. Now in the iTunes, next to the music, there's a little icon up here. You click on that and that takes you into your iPad backup. When you get into the iPad backup, you will go over on the left hand side and see file sharing. Click on that and that lists all the files that you can share data with with your computer. It has a documents folder in the root path to where it can be shared. Click on capture, and when you click on capture, you'll have a list of all the files in there for the capture app. So I created a folder on my desktop. Normally I have it in my OneDrive folder. I back up everything to my OneDrive folder, OneDrive syncs with the cloud, and then I have a backup of all my information on the cloud. I also back up all the information in there to two different hard drives. I have one hard drive at home, I keep another hard drive at my partner's place. That way, I have, I try to guarantee that I can keep the data. So, what I did was, under desktop, created a capture backup, and I'm using the iTunes folder for it. So that's the folder I'm going to use to back this up. With capture app selected, you have the files here on the right-hand side. You can select one and then hit shift and click to select the rest of them. Or you can select one and hit control A to select all. Once all the files in the folder are selected, scroll down and hit save comes up to a file system dialog box. And the path I have is desktop capture app iTunes. So I'm gonna select the folder and up across the top, you'll see it processing the backup. Okay, whenever it's done, you'll see it goes up just to the app where you don't have the blue status bar over here of anything transferring in that. So it should be complete now. So what I do is I like to verify that I got the information. So I turn around, pull up the folder I saved it in, put that on one side of the screen and the other on there. Now in the iTunes app, it tells you the size of it on the iPad. I go in here and I verify it in the file system. 860 kilobytes, 32 kilobytes, and 12 kilobytes, it's close. It's not the same. Now this is, uh, I don't know if this is on all this ESO binaries is on all of them or if it's just part of a beta testing. I was using test flight in Apple to test some beta capture software and that's when it showed up in there. I don't know if they changed it to show it but it, it was there and it's showing 5.1 meg 
right click in, on Windows, hit properties, and it'll show you 4.81 meg, two files, two folders. It's about the same. Go to firmware, firmware is 56.1 meg. Just hovering over it, you can actually see it too. It's 55.4, that's pretty close. Jobs. 475, 470 files, four folders, and 996 megabytes. And that's showing one gigabyte. That's really close to one gigabyte. Logs is showing 169 kilobytes on there. It's 236 kilobytes. So I'm pretty sure just by looking at the sizes and that, that it did back up correctly. So there you go. That's how you back up the capture app from the iPad to your computer. And I have two jobs on the iPad right now, as you can see on the screen. What I'm going to do is go in and delete all the files and reset Matterport Capture app in the, on the iPad. The way I do this is on the iPad, hit the home button to close it, double click to go to the app screen, make sure you close the Capture app, and then I go back to the home screen. Then I open up iTunes, you can go into the Capture App folder again, hit Control A, and then I hit the Delete button. It gives me a warning. Are you sure you want to delete to select the documents from your iPad? I hit Delete, and it deletes everything. I'm done there. Now, when I go back into the Capture App, the models are gone. So the models are only available on the backup. So there you go. That's backing up your iPad to your PC using iTunes. I hope this helps. It's probably the easiest way to do it because the software is already available to you. I have not tried it on a Mac. I don't normally use Macs, so the Mac users, it's probably pretty similar. Slightly different shortcut keys. Your Mac users, you know the shortcut keys, and you should be able to back it up. Hey, thanks for watching. Look for my next two videos using iMazing and iExplorer to back up the Capture app.